Alrighty, welcome back to Never Tell Me The Odds. We start off with, uh, we'll call it number 20, because it's an anecdote of mine about a strange coincidence from last week. So last week, I received my first ever jury duty summons, and I was talking about it on my live stream, saying how excited I was to have to do jury duty. Yay! So I was on a series called SMP Live. It's a Minecraft multiplayer series. You can watch all the previous episodes at youtube.com slash Captain Sparkles 2. Shameless self-promotion. So when I mentioned it, people in my chat were like, wait a minute, Kara, who's another member on the server, also just got a jury duty summoned. So I reached out and I was like, hey, I was told that you just got jury duty summons. Um, and it turns out that we have the exact same receipt date for our jury duty summons for LA and the exact same appearance date for going in for the jury duty and neither of us had received jury duty ever before since being in LA. I was like, what are they, like, is LA going through the Twitch streamer list being like, all right, time to give them jury duty or otherwise, what the heck? What kind of weird, crazy coincidence two people on the same server series for Minecraft get jury duty for the exact same date? Anyway, I thought it was, I never tell me the odds because it's kind of situation, because it probably is pretty unlikely for that to happen. Anyway, that's number 20. We go to number 19. This happened at my old high school a couple of days ago. Well, oh, that counts as a catch, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't even think about that first. Nice job. I like how that was just reflexes to try to dodge. Literally the worst attempt at dodging possible, but it just so happened to work out. Unless you were actually intending to catch it between your legs, but I, I feel like not so much. God, I just love how everybody comes over and just does the like, dude, you just crushed it hug. I only ever had that happen once in my entire life when I made this buzzer beater basketball shot that got us into the next round of the tournament at basketball camp in the summer, and everyone was just like, dude, you crush it, and I'll never get that feeling ever again in my life. Moving along. Unfortunately, as much as we might want to show this, um, YouTube doesn't like when you show fights, as per their community guidelines, terms of service, so uh, we move along to luck would have it. We've actually seen this one before, but it doesn't surprise me again. But also, I don't know if we're going to be able to show that one either, because some people could have gotten hurt. Okay, we move on to, um, um, what? As post number two. The best part is that it's right behind a police car. Child Amber Alert, white Nissan Sentra, the license plate. Is that actually it? Uh, EYB992, seriously? Okay. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. I feel like it must have already been pulled over. This isn't someone just driving behind the car taking a photo like, huh, this is an odd coincidence, and then it happens to be a police car in front. This has to be like a shot from a police officer after they've already pulled the car over and it just happens to be under the thing that's announcing it, right? 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 Otherwise, that's way too big of a coincidence that someone's like, I better take this photo for social media before I alert the police officer in front of the car that that car is right behind them, just so they know. Otherwise, what if it's another Nissan Sentra that just has a license plate that's like EYB992 or something? It's just like one one number off and you're like, I, it's just a terrible, never tell me the odds coincidence either way. Player throws football as cannon goes off behind him. That's some breathing information right there if I've ever seen it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was just like perfect camera angle that they happened to get there. I remember when they did a cannon demonstration at my junior high school and I was, I, I must have looked like such an idiot to other people because I was like, it's really impressive that they managed to launch the, the cannon and not hit anything with the cannonball. They didn't even really tell the students to move out of the way too much. And then the people next to me were like, y you know, they're not, they're not actually like launching a cannonball. They're just, just lighting a charge. And I was like, no, but they're dead. How could they light? How could they fire off the cannon without a cannonball in there? People are like, you can do that. You can just, you can just light the thing. It doesn't have to have ammo in there. And I was like, no way. And then like, Lo and behold, a few years later, I'm thinking back on that, and I'm like, yep. Definitely, they weren't firing off cannonballs. That'd be a little dangerous. <laughs> I was so adamant about it at the time, though. See, what I was hoping, though, is that they were going to fire off a cannonball, it was going to hit the football, and then the football was going to, like, they were going to miss the throw or something. That would be cool. If you see a fork in the road... <laughs> fork. I've ruined the word for myself. 
You know, that's adding insult to injury right there, bro. That's not even cool. You're gonna destroy my tire and then flip me off at the same time? Like, fork you? All right, God, this is actually like, God, this is perfect on so many levels. It's a fork that is saying, fork you. And if you ran over it at a fork in the road, I mean, that would only be even better. How I would be so mad at that. You would probably hear that. If you rolled down your windows, you'd be like, there's this strange sound I'm hearing, and it sounds like it's about every time that my wheel goes around. Oh, why am I getting a, a slow leak? TPMS is going off. And then you just, you turn your, your tire, and like, okay, there's, I'm literally getting flipped off right now. Cool, super duper. At the very least, it's probably a slow enough leak that you can fill it back up and make it to the dealership without a tow, hopefully. God dang it, stupid fork. Go fork yourself. Beyond odds. Okay, oh no. Is something gonna happen to the poor, is that a Cayman? I'm pretty sure it's a Cayman. Oh God, did he, he didn't set the parking brake. Mmm. Oh my God, how did that happen? Holy crap. How close is it to the other car too? Like an inch, oh my, is literally an inch. You cut that off too soon. You need to pause it at the right second. That dude had some adrenaline going right there. Dude. I, I wonder if his pulling back actually was the difference of an inch where it, it would have hit the car on the left. Cause I'm sure there's some amount of impact that, that the person would do. It's not a lot, but I, I wonder if it's an inch worth over that distance. Whew. Set your parking brake. Why does this happen so often? God dang it. Hit the boosters. What? What? All uh, right, wow. Okay. I have to see that again. He, he actually goes airborne, flips upside down, flips back up, does a hard flip in his car, and then the parachutes still deploy, and you're okay with only minimal damage because it's just part of you great. I'm sure it's got pretty extensive damage, especially to the suspension from just plopping down like that, but oh my God. <laughs> you're gonna be telling people the rest of your life, yeah, I did a hard flip in my car, and they're gonna be like, excuse me, what? And you're like, no, I actually did. It's the thing that you're thinking in your head right now, Assuming you know what a hard flip is, skateboarding? No, I actually did that. Uh, I'm not joking. <laughs> Everyone's gonna require seeing the footage. You got a you got a great intro for meeting new people forevermore, especially at like cars and coffee events. Whew! Oh my god, a ball to go. Uh, wait. Did he score in like the goal across the street? Wait, did he get it into the car? Hold on. It went into the car. Oh my god, dude perfect, eat your heart out. This is just put every dude perfect trick shot video to shame ever. Now they're gonna do this. I bet. I bet this is gonna be the next thing, is they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna recreate this shot. How many tries would that take? That would take so that would take thousands and thousands of tries. If you don't like if you just recreate the situation exactly where the car just drives like a normal car and doesn't adjust at all. I don't know, I still think hard flipping a car is, is crazier, but that's that's still, yep. You can't duplicate hard flipping a car. This one you could duplicate, technically. Watch the label of the water bottle. It feels really good when you just do a first time water bottle flip, though, I'll tell you, it's, it's pretty nice. Watch the label. I mean, it's the Gatorade and water, right? Oh. I thought that it was gonna be some magic trick that like the label disappeared. I'm like, he switched bottles. What the? Did he just throw that with such force that it just transferred the label over? That is like a magic trick though. Like a magician, they'll throw the deck of cards at the wall and then, oh, your card stuck to the wall and everything else fell off. Ah, oh, how did he do it? I actually don't know exactly, but there's obviously a way he did it. He, he's just, you know, obviously the tennis isn't working out for him here. So he's just practicing his magic tricks for his next career, okay? That's all. Baseball hit. Oh, is it gonna hit the ceiling and get stuck in the ceiling? It's gonna get, did it go out? <laughs> That's the best reaction. 
can I see? <laughs> oh, that was some like curb your enthusiasm reaction right there. <laughs> what? What happened? So you're gonna need to go and get the uh, roof waterproofed a, a bit there. No, I guess it actually works because the water won't get in because it's just what? What? Does that, is that a double? It's not a home run, right? It should be a home run, but I guess it, it'd be a double, right? The outfielder must be like, I was, I was ready to catch it. Am I, am I really bad at baseball? Did I miss it? Where did it go? <laughs> You'd be like a dog. You know, when you're, when the owner like pretends to throw the ball, the dog's like, but wait, where, where did it go? <laughs> the lightning's good timing. Poe's awesome timing. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool timing. I feel like if lightning goes off during any, any show, you could kind of choreograph the timing along with something. I don't know. Anyways, it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's as much as a never tell me the odds as some of the other ones we've seen so far here. Faster is impossible. We're getting a lot of like never tell me the odds with with like ambulances and fire trucks next to each other and and up. Oh. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Look, okay, hold on. It almost looked like that car was holding up the fire truck and the fire truck just went by and was like, you know what, here's payback. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna poop some fire on you out of my exhaust. It, it really does look like that. The fire truck's like, here, have a little bit of fire for holding us up because you're not pulling over properly, you idiot. God dang it. And they're like, well, I guess we gotta put out the fire that we just started, but. At least they have to go through the hassle of an insurance claim because they wouldn't pull to the side of the road. I saw this clip the other day on Reddit of uh, an ambulance driver who was so mad at people who were not like they, I think in fairness to the people, they were pulling to the left because I th they thought they were getting out of the way, but it's pull to the right or don't pull over at all, basically is, is the rule. It was on a, a highway and they're trying to get to a crash right up ahead. And the dude is just going off on them on the last video. You absolute forking idiots. Get the fork out of the shoulder. We need to go by. And he's on, he has to drive like through the grassy medium and stuff. Anyway, don't pull to the left. Assuming you're obviously in a country where you drive on the right. Um, pull to the right. Or if you can't, then just stay there. But yeah, don't pull to the left. It's, it's not unless you're told to, I guess. But yeah, anyway. Guy catches his drone a second before it hits the water. We have seen this one, actually. A lot, of, a lot of posts that we've seen this month or that are accidents. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. Oh, oh, I I so just saw this one on my own because this is the most ridiculous thing ever. This is absolute insanity, madness. Just, it's the highlight of your life. It's all downhill from there, dude. Like, the people behind actually noticed it, which I'm also impressed by. I feel like it would have happened so fast, nobody would have actually realized what you just done. They'd be like, why are you so stoked about waving this phone around? You're gonna drop it, dude. Why do you wanna drop your phone? It's like, it's not mine, somebody else dropped it and I caught it. This must be with the overlay and stuff, like a video that is taken by the ride that the amusement park then sells to you afterwards. I hope that the person whose phone was recovered bought the guy his video as a thank you and to commemorate forever because that's so cool, dude. That's the greatest thing ever. After three noise complaints, the cops said they could stay if I made, if they made a half court shot. They could stay if they made a half court shot. Oh, okay, I thought the cops were talking about themselves. Okay, whoever's playing there could stay if they make a half court shot. I feel, I feel like <laughs> it's not, it's not really how law enforcement is supposed to work. And they're also like, if someone makes a half court shot, it's going to increase the noise level. Like, all right, well, all right, you guys go keep on being loud. Imagine being like the homeowner nearby who called in the noise complaint because people are being genuinely loud. And then the cops knock on your door, they follow up, they're like, um, excuse us, sorry. Yeah, we told them that if they made a half court shot, they could just keep going. So our hands are tied now. Sorry, can't do anything about it. Them's the laws. It's a new ordinance that was passed by the city the other week. It said that any anything that happens, you can wager it on a half court shot. And so, um, it's, it's not our rules. Ask the city council, talk to the mayor, file a complaint there if you have a problem with it. But um, yeah, they they won fair and square. You know, 
next time that you get like a speeding ticket or something like that, just, you know, there should be a thing at the bottom of the citation that says uh, wager it on a half court shot, double or nothing. If you miss the half court shot, well, then you pay double the fine, you get double the points on your license. But if you make it, wipe clean. You know, it can work in your favor sometimes. I Give it a try. So I don't know. Could work in your favor. You might not want to get rid of the new thing. <laughs> All right. I'd be frustrated if I was in the perspective of the person who called the noise complaint, but oh well. I guess they're cool cops. And the top for the last month. We weren't supposed to go at the same time. Are they about to like weave? Oh. Yeah, the slow mo is really gonna really gonna be the thing we need here. Ooh, went through each other's legs. Dang. Oh my god. I feel like if I was watching this, I wouldn't actually know. I would think that someone probably got hit there. I feel like you couldn't you couldn't even choreograph something like that for a movie or a Cirque du Soleil performance if you wanted to. There's like there's too many variables going on. You guys just got extremely lucky. Someone could have gotten kicked in the head and that would have hurt. He almost looks like he fell really badly on his arm though. So at least he didn't do that. All right, still, I'm sorry, but top post of all time here is the car doing a hard flip. It doesn't, it doesn't get more wild than that. I'm sorry. I don't know how that is not the top post by a fair margin, but I just want to watch it one more time. Is what the heck? How do you skateboard tricks in a car? It's not supposed to happen. Yeah, no, I'm, Jesus. <laughs> uh, that's too much for me. Okay, that's it for uh, the last month of Never Tell Me The Odds. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more videos of this. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we will end it there. I'll see you next time.